Most vehicle manufacturers today, this is Automotive Electronic Test 1, uh, most vehicle manufacturers today do not network their electrical systems through computers. That's absolutely false. I would say that. Neutral safety switch is used on vehicles, automatic transmissions. A charging system is used to restore the battery to the battery of the electrical power during engine starting. That's true. Yeah, it's going to do that. The vehicle lighting system only includes the lights on the exterior of the vehicle. That's false. The vehicle instrumentation, instrumentation, instrumentation systems monitor various vehicle operating systems, and that's true. That's not complicated. Power mirrors are considered an electrical accessory. That's true. Most vehicles today contain one powerful onboard computer. That's false. They got they have 100 computers on some of these vehicles. The, the use of passive restraint systems is federally mandated on all passenger cars sold in the United States after 1990. That's true. Did you know uh, the high, center high mount stoplight is required after starting in 86? You know, because it keeps you 40% less likely to get rear-ended with that center high mount stoplight. Imagine that. You didn't fix somebody's center high mount stoplight and they got rear-ended. It's for, you got a 40% chance of being your fault. You got me? Pay attention to that. All right. In other words, when we're doing vehicle inspections, what we don't need to do is just check all the boxes because we're bored. Right? You got me? All right. We need to make sure we check them good. <laughs> the Ford Model T was the first people's car. Oh, yeah. That's true, actually. Uh, yeah, you could get them in any, any color you wanted as long as they were black. I thought it was a Volkswagen. <laughs> well, no. The Model T was before the Volkswagen. The Volkswagen was in like in the forties. Model Here, T. Here, but in Germany. Yeah. No, even in Germany, it was in. That's it was in the. It, it came after Henry Ford's uh, deal. Whenever you think about people's car, that's what Volkswagen means is people's car. Yeah. But it it was not before the Model T. Uh, tires are not involved with any computer system. That's actually true. <laughs> what about your, uh, your tire pressure monitor? So, yeah, this is an old question. But, hey, all right, I you got you. You guys are thinking, and I appreciate that. Okay? I mean, I always like for somebody to say, hey, wait a minute. My reasoning tells me different, you know. I like that. What do I need to do? Yeah, just put, just put uh, the answer key is want, want to see false, so put false. But know that tire pressure monitor systems are going to do that. So, yeah, your tires are connected to that. Technician A says, most manufacturers network their electrical systems through computers. Technician B says, in a network system, one component may cause several temp symptoms. Who's right about that? Both of them. The principle that the automotive horn operates by is what? Electromagnetism. That's not complicated. Technician A says, a basic starting system includes a MUX capacitor. Technician B says, a basic starting system includes the vehicle's battery. Uh, who's right about that? B. Uh, let's see. The seat recall position on most memory systems is allowed only if what? The vehicle transmission is in park. Yeah, they don't want you moving the seat while you're driving down the road. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's bull crap. One day there was a salesman. One day there was a salesman that parked this Explorer out there as I was walking out the service lot. He parked out and ran around the back to talk to somebody else. And when I walked by there, he just left the door open. I went by there and grabbed the seat thing and just ran it all the way forward, just as far as it would go. And, you know, some of them go pretty close to the dash. And he's trying to get back into that thing, and he bounced off the dashboard. He looked really confused. <laughs> and I said, Randy, I moved the seat. I'm messing with you, you know. All right. Of course, you wouldn't move the seat when somebody's going, you know. Um, let me see. You know, some of the Thunderbirds have the seat controls on the console, you know. And, you know, if, if you're, whoever your passenger was wanted to jack around with you, you know, while you're driving, they can move the seat and, you know, get you all over the steering wheel and everything. That's not a good idea to do that, but, I mean, that's crazy to want to put the seat controls on the console. I forgot what play, I forgot what question we're on. Technician A says neutral safety switch is used on vehicles with automatic transmissions. Technician B says the neutral safety switch is used on vehicles with manual transmissions. A. There you go, 15. That's A only. All right, 16. Vehicles equipped with automatic transmissions... Uh, control systems A deactivate a system at speeds above automatic traction control systems. They deactivate a system at speeds above 50 to increase the torque output of the rear of the engine to move the vehicle. Automatically speed up the wheels that are too slow. Automatically apply the brakes to the wheel that's spinning. C D. As D automatically apply the brakes to the wheel. I tell you something else they do though. Some of them will detorque the engine by closing a throttle plate. That's above the that's above the regular throttle plate. Or if it's got uh, that um, you know, electronic throttle body, they'll use that to do that. Okay, let's see. Um, all of the following statements are true about an airbag system are true except 
A, deployment's automatic. Its supplemental system is mandated by the government. It's an active system. Uh, is that, yeah, it's not an active system. You don't have to do anything except hit something for it to light off. Technician A says most manufacturers now use a system of vehicle communications called multiplexing. Technician B says multiplexing allows control modules to share information. Who's right about that? SC. The purpose of the vehicle multiplex system is to uh, A, allow computers to share information, B, prevent electromagnetic interference, C, prevent multiple system failures, or D, increase circuit loads to a sensor. That's going to be A. They're going to share information. All the following are true of the easy exit feature of memory seat systems except what? The system may move the steering wheel up. It's an additional function of memory seat systems. The driver's door is opened automatically. <laughs> yeah, that's the way. That ain't happening. Remember the old 60s? Uh, the old 19? It's the A. It's the allow them to share. Uh, I don't really know why you'd want to. But um, just because. Oh, just because airbags. I don't know if there is an aftermarket airbag. People. No, the reason. Aftermarket. I need to replace them. Oh, a replacement one. You may be able to find one. Maybe able to find one in a salvage yard. If you get a new one off from the, is a thousand dollars or something. Number seventeen. All right, guys. Let's get, let's move on so we can get through this. Modules determine the speed of component by doing what? Oh, did I did I get past that? Which yeah, one do you want? You're gone. Never mind. I flipped it over. That's what I did. Sorry about that. You're right. Yeah, that was one of our old questions. We're done with that. Right. That stapler is not any good anymore. Don't know. That is a that is a no good stapler.